Robert Van Royen last updated 2119 the 22nd of June 2018 Diane Manson, Getty Highlanders wing David Lee attempts to fend off French barbarian wing Hugo Bonneville in Invercargill on Friday night. Diane Manson, Getty French barbarian Fabian Sanconi secures a line-out throw against the Highlanders in Invercargill on Friday night. Rugby chalk up another international scalp for the Highlanders, the Southern franchise beat the French Barbarians 29-10 in Invercargill on Friday night to back up last year's memorable win against the British and Irish Lions, in the team's only match during the international window, and the only taste of live Highlanders rugby Invercargill-based fans will get this year, the hosts outscored the tourists 5 tries to 1 at Rugby Park, while far from a polished performance, the score was just 5-3 at halftime, it was an ideal way to rid themselves of some rust ahead of the resumption of Super Rugby next weekend, when the Highlanders play the Chiefs in Suva in their penultimate home game of the regular season. Read more asterisk abs tip to lose to box asterisk who's the next team Ovo? Asterisk abs make mass changes asterisk France name side for tour finale playing without a stack of frontliners, including seven players who will play for the All Blacks against France on Saturday night. It was never going to be pretty in the chilly south and so it proved, at least for the most part, it wasn't that both teams didn't try to play some expansive rugby, it's just their execution was lacking at crucial times. Credit must also go to some of the defensive work put in. One area Highlanders coach Aaron Mogger will no doubt be pleased with is the scrum, an area his team has struggled with at times during Super Rugby, however, with the return of tight head Propsiate to Kolahi from a knee injury, they more than matched up with the big French pack, and even bulldozed them off the ball late in the first half, their driving mall was also decent, James Lantiez and Greg Pleasant State scored via it, and speedy rookie fullback Josh McKay shined at fullback, McKay, a former Christchurch boys first five, showed he's no mug under the highball, used his express to get on the outside of the Barbarians and score early in the second half, and looked dangerous with almost every touch, halfback Josh Renton, gifted a start ahead of Kane Hammington, also put in a decent shift, as did number 8 Elliot Dixon and Southland stag Lima Sopoaga, who scored a try in his last game on home soil, add feedback as for the not-so-good, the Highlanders conceded too many first-half penalties, including 5 in the first 20 minutes, and their execution wasn't up to scratch until they finally started to click in the second half, but they were far too good for the French in the end, as reserve hooker Pleasant State barged over over in the 65th minute to secure the win. Center Rob Thompson turned it into a blowout when he took a Richard Buckman offload and dotted down under the sticks with a minute to play. The Barbarians, the first French side to play in Invercargill since 1989, opened the scoring with a Jean Marc Dowsane penalty in the 13th minute, after Highlanders lock Alex Ainley was penalized for illegally entering a driving mall. Speaking of driving malls, there was plenty of them in the first 20 minutes, particularly from the Barbarians, who had no problem moving the home side but were guilty of not clearing the ball on a few occasions, the Highlanders, having barely touched the ball, used a driving mall of their own as flanker James Lantiez got shoved over the line for a 5-3 lead in the 18th minute, the tourists grabbed a consolation try through wing Hugo Bonneville at the death but finished the year with consecutive losses to the Crusaders and Highlanders, Highlanders 29, James Lantiez, Josh McKay, Lima Sopoaga, Greg Pleasant State, Rob Thompson tries, Sopoaga Khan, Josh Owain Khan, French Barbarians 10, Hugo Bonneville try, Jean-Marc Dowsane Pen, Julian Dumoricon, HT, 5-3 stuff, 